Hello everyone and welcome to our how-to videos. Today we'll be talking about how to create a new feedback scope on our feedback module. Right now you are seeing the back office, which you already know it very well. If we come here to the modules, we come to feedback. As you can see, we have three different areas. Feedback scopes, feedback questions and feedback list. Let's go to feedback scopes. Here we have all of the scopes available on our feedback module. In this case, if we want to create a new one, let's add a new scope. In this case, I will create a task feedback. Let's imagine that we have lots of task forces in our organization, so we want to create a scope dedicated to these tasks. I wrote the title and I will give a small description. So, feedback about a specific task. Perfect. Don't forget that you can add different languages. Perfect. Now we already have a new scope. Now we need to add some questions. So we need to go to feedback questions and we have all of the questions available per each scope. If we come here, we select the scope that we want to add questions, in this case, task feedback. As you can see, we don't have any content available yet. So let's add a new question. Let's start by asking about contribution. I can ask the colleagues to describe the contribution of their team. And in the answer type, we have three options. The free text, which allows people to give comments. The rate between one and four, which allows people to evaluate on a scale between one and four stars. Or it can be a mix between uh, a rate, so you can also define the minimum and the maximum. And you can also have justifications of the answers. You can choose in this box if you want the text field to be hidden or not. So this is related with the question scope and we click submit. And perfect, we already have the first question. Let's add the new ones. Perfect. Now we already have a list of questions for our feedback scope. Let's see how it looks on our front end. Now we are in the front end of our platform. Let's go to the feedback module. In the home page of the feedback module, we have the access to the information about all of the feedbacks that we have received and given to our colleagues, as well as some graphics with some information about the feedbacks. Let's give some feedback. In this case, I will click Give Feedback. I will choose the feedback type. In this case, I will choose the one that we just created in the back office. I will select the user that I want to give feedback to. In this case, I will choose Maria. And I will give some context. I will give feedback about our task X. Perfect. Now we can proceed. Now I have access to all of the questions that we just created also in the back office. The first one, which has a rate with access to just a comment section where we can add some comments about a contribution. We have the question where we only have the rate between one and four stars and the general comment. Now I can click send feedback. Now the feedback was just given. Let's move back to the back office. In the back office, in the area of feedback list, we have access to all of the feedbacks that were given in the organization. We can also apply some filters according to date, type, scope, and even status of the feedback. Finally, you can also export an Excel file with all of the information about these feedbacks. We hope this video was helpful and hope to see you very, very soon in the next video.